Uh, first, I would like to say thank you for this opportunity. Um, it, it's a pleasure to be here, man. Damn. Damn. Oh, come on, bro. You costing me money, my boy. Yo, PFG family, man, before we get started, I just have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Yahaha. Yeah, see, this is a brand new platform that lets you create 3D multiplayer interactive games. Now, I know you're probably thinking that's impossible, but trust me, it's easy. See, with Yahaha, you don't need any code and experience, and on top of that, it's free to sign up. They offer over 100,000 assets to choose from, and they have 40 plus templates to help you get started. Not only that, they also have multiplayer support, so you can play with your friends as well. So what I need y'all to do is to go ahead and click the link in the video description and go download your HaHa -Ha Studio. I'm telling you, bro, you won't regret it. I can never fold, I can never break Against the ropes, I endure the pain I'm asking, could you pray for me? Yeah. I'm asking, could you pray for me? Never broke the code, I stand on my name Even in the cold, I walk through the rain I'm asking, could you pray for me? I'm asking, could you pray for me? Yeah. Been through the rain, I ain't have a cold on Not a case, I didn't ever <laughs> Hey man, top of the morning. Welcome back to another dope video. Like always, go ahead and smack that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Now we got a very busy day today, but before we get to that, man, did y'all see the NFL games this weekend? It was wild. Here lately, I've been placing small bets online on some of the games, but this past weekend, bro, I decided to go all in. I swear I was at the crib going crazy. Man, goddamn, bro, that's your third drop pass today, man. How many you gonna drop? You keep calling for the ball. Catch it when they throw it to you. I just don't get it, my nigga. You costing me money, my boy. So, yeah, man, as y'all can see, my weekend was super stressful. But anyways, like I was saying, bro, we got a busy day today. Y'all know I've been looking for a partner over at the talent management agency. Well, I think I may have found a guy. But he hit me up about the position on LinkedIn, so I set the interview up with him for today. Then after we lead the interview, we got a pickup to make. It's a 1968 Pontiac Bonneville. Now, I got to be honest, I almost didn't want to accept this job simply because, bruh, the car is in amazing condition, but hey, I could definitely use the money. Now, the customer wants to get his car a complete makeover. I'm talking about 30-inch rims, new sound system, new engine, new paint. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a big-ass job, but I'm excited about it, especially because this will be the first official build at the new shop. All right, y'all know before we leave the crib, we got to do a quick outfit check. So to start the day off, we on our professional vibes because we got this interview to go to. So I just went ahead and put on that clean, pearly white suit with the all white loafers. And then I threw on that salmon button up underneath. Now, I was going to put on a tie, but I don't want the interview to be all uptight. I want it to be, you know, more so relaxed and chill, right? So this is what we rocking to start the day. But after the interview, I'm going to change into some other clothes so I don't get my suit dirty while we loading up this car. Let's jump in traffic, man. All right, y'all, so we leaving the crib right now. Like I said, we headed over to the office for this interview, but I got my clothes with me in my backpack. But right now, honestly, I feel like I'm on some first day of high school type shit, bro. I don't know. Just having this backpack made me feel like I'm leaving for school. But anyways, I was reading through the comments on last episode, and for the most part, bro, everybody was rocking with the new crib. I'm definitely rocking with it. I think the location is perfect. I think the house is perfect. It's enough room. So... Yeah, man, this is the new spot for the moment. Now, I think in the future, we'll probably try to get something built from the ground up. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and jump in the car, bruh. Listen to this startup. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God, bruh. Waking the neighbors up here, man. And this is stock. Like, everything on this car is stock, man. So, that's definitely hard to believe that something stock sounds that good. Y'all see I got the Monty back there. Yeah, we took it out for a second this weekend. I should have actually drove it today, to be honest with you, but we got this interview. I'm trying to pull up on some, you know, some professional type shit, bro. <laughs> you see the owner of the company pull up in a Monty beating, bro. That should be crazy, man. But yeah, the 
the best part about this house is like i said it's just like minutes away from everything like it's only gonna take us a few minutes to get where we're going especially <laughs> hey man especially driving this black wing man oh my god that shit is so fast and it sounds amazing like bruh it's the perfect combination i honestly don't think i need to do anything to it when it comes to performance bro i think everything else any upgrades we can make will probably just be cosmetic to be honest with you but look we pretty much already here man let me pull in this parking garage real quick they got these big ass speed bumps let me see damn, damn. oh come on bro come on bro don't do me like that bro <laughs> come on <laughs> bro we stuck my boy Hold on, let me see. Let me <laughs> Come on, bro. That is the last thing that I would expect, bro, to get stuck on a goddamn speed bump right before an interview, man. Just my luck, bro. Uh, first, I would like to say thank you for this opportunity. Um, it, it's a pleasure to be here, man. Hey, man, the pleasure is all mine. But let's go ahead and get started. Why don't you tell me about your background and any experience you have in this industry? Yeah, for sure. I'll give you a brief description of my experience and my background and things of that such. Um, if I may, I'd like to express the origins of my path to get to this point, and then we can get into that. So um, I began encountering many talented acts, such as my peers and things like that, via high school, um, many of which they were meek and they were shy of their gifts. So this kind of caused me to influence the positions of power within the educational institution to grant me permission to formulate a display of, of talents exclusively for the individuals who attended this institution at the time many of which know this today as a talent show. Um, the success of this talent show, it kind of catapulted me into developing citywide talent show events to uh, statewide, regional- Man, talent bro, talent Buddy talent really talent just talent used talent all them big ass talent words talent to describe putting um, together so a, yeah, high I, I to a high talent school talent show. A high school talent show. Like, come on, really. I know you want the job, but God damn, you giving me a migraine. So I'm, I'm Either he's smart as hell or he memorized every word in the dictionary before he got here. Man, I could tell already this is going to be a long ass interview. Y'all pray for me. I'll see you on the other side, man. Say, man, after getting dude to let his guard down and relax a little bit, man, he actually turned out to be cool as hell. Honestly, I think he'll be a good fit with the company, but let me know what y'all think down below. Anyways, I'm headed over to the storage facility right now to get my truck and trailer. That way I can go make this pickup. All right, y'all, so we are not too far away from the storage unit, man, but I really need y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about the interview. I mean, is he the right guy for the job? Um, in my opinion, I think he's pretty dope. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, kind of odd. He kind of, kind of, oh, golly, buddy is off that saw super early. Let me make sure I stay out of dude's way. How you, <laughs> look, this nigga hit a parked car, bro. <laughs> this nigga hit a parked car, man. But yeah, man, uh, y'all let me know if Buddy's right for the job. I think he has a skill set, uh, you know, his ability to talk and his vocabulary. I think he can actually, you know, provide a lot of um, a lot of benefits to the company that I may not have myself. But like I said, the choice is y'all's, man. But we are pulling up to the storage unit right now. Um, we're going to drop the Cadillac off, jump in the truck, and hook up the trailer. That way we can go make this pickup real quick. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, this gate worked. Now, our car sits super low, as y'all saw before. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm not trying to go through that again, and we didn't damage the front end. Come on, my boy. We're going to have to go through this way. I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know if this car is going to fit in the storage unit. We might just have to leave it locked up back here behind the fence. Oh, my gosh, bro. We did not <laughs> We did knock the whole damn front end off. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to try to even fit it back there. Yeah, I'm not even going for it, bro. I'm going to just park this bad boy. We'll leave it right here for a second and we'll swap it out with the truck. That's crazy, my boy. Uh, let's actually go ahead and open up the garage, see what we got in here real quick. Actually, I guess I'll just open this side door since we ain't putting nothing in or taking nothing out. Let me see real quick what we got in this bad boy. Look through the window, be hella nosy. <laughs> Let me see. So yeah, we ain't even got nothing in here, really. We got the, uh, the Hellcat that's been in here forever that definitely needs a bath. And then we also got the Maserati that we took to look at those uh, look at those houses last episode. Or maybe it was the episode before last. But yeah, storage unit pretty empty. But that'll soon change. Like I said, I'm not even going to try to fit the Cadillac in here. Let me go ahead and jump in my work truck and 
hook this trailer up real quick and we'll just throw the Cadillac over here. All right, so we got the trailer hooked up, got the truck ready to go. Let me move the Cadillac over closer to the storage unit. We actually do share this uh, this little lot with other people as well. So it's not just us. Also, look at look at the fit, man. Just something, you know, real quick to work in. We threw on the trues, man. We threw on the uh, all white, all white Air Force Ones. Uh, I call them Air Force Ones. I don't even, <laughs> they don't even sound right. I know that's the name of them, but I don't even sound right. But yeah, uh, yeah, man, y'all rate, rate the fit, man. I know, I know a lot of y'all don't really be rocking with the suits, but we gotta be, we gotta be professional at times, you know. Sometimes life calls for it. Yeah, let's go ahead and lock the car. I got my mirrors in. All right, bet. Let's hit the road. Now we actually got a pretty good trip to go on. Uh, let me see. We going all the way over here. It's like a little ducked off shop that's like right here, I believe. So yeah, we got like a pretty good trip, pretty good ways. It's all good though. Man, it feels good, like I said, to be back in the truck, bro. I feel like I ain't really done no, no heavy lifting, no hard work in a minute, bro. It feel good to be back in the truck. Let me see. I think this is probably the best way to go out. I got this big ass trailer. Y'all know how I get, <laughs> especially with me, my boy. I done had very bad luck this episode, man, with this trailer. Not the trailer, these cars. I'm tripping. And also, too, bro, one thing I want to say, uh, last episode, I was calling my Monte Carlo a, uh, a Caprice. Y'all got to forgive me, man. Once I hit record, I just start talking <laughs> and words just start flowing, man. So sometimes I know I may not be making the most sense, so just bear with me. Y'all know what I mean, man. Give your boy the benefit of the doubt. Some nigga was super offended in the comment section. He, bro. <laughs> bro. I don't know what is going on this episode, man. We done gotten like, what, two wrecks? Cause we wrecked the uh, the Cadillac. We got stuck on a speed bump. Buddy just <laughs> purposely hit the trailer. Like, golly, man. I can't catch a break, man. But that's normally how it is though. When everything's going good in life, you know, normally, you know, that's when everything start going bad. It's kind of crazy. The balance of life and how that works. But I ain't gonna get all deep on here with y'all. <laughs> Also, one other thing I wanted to ask you, um, I kind of been avoiding it just simply because the, the script is outdated. So I'm gonna have to really, really try to get it to work. Um, but do y'all want me to add the uh, pull me over mod, like to where like if I'm running lights and speed and then shit like that, like I'll actually get pulled over or I could just do the dash. Like do y'all really want me to add that mod? And if so, you know, no worries. I definitely will. If not, then like I said, no big deal, man. But I think it actually adds a, you know another level of realism to the series but you know maybe it's a little bit too real for some of y'all which i get too because this definitely is still a video game so yeah man just let me know what y'all uh what y'all want me to do down below and like i always say man i'll try to make it happen come on man let me go ahead and cut across for a train come it would be just my luck that that goddamn transit train come and knock my knock my muffin cap back oh buddy hated on me but he gonna move all the way up too. That's crazy, man. We are not. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I am having a hell of a time, my boy. We just gonna slide through, man. We didn't already did enough damage. All right, y'all. So we got the car loaded up, man. The dude is actually pretty cool, man. And just like the video I showed y'all earlier, this thing is perfect. Like it's so perfect that I don't even wanna even want to work on it like i feel like there's no more work to be done but buddy trying to turn this bad boy into a dunk so we're gonna have to make all type of cuts and edits and all type of crazy stuff to this car but hey man it's my job to bring his vision to life but look at the trailer man look at the trailer man we took all types of damage now we got the car on here right now so we can't afford to <laughs> to be taking those same hits on the way back to the shop so let me make sure I got everything marked real quick. Yo, we just going to the shop, so it's not too far away. But y'all know how it is, man. Anything can happen from here to there. And let me show y'all my backing up skills. I've been working on it. Y'all was roasting me before, but your boy been in his bag a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we done got stuck. <laughs> oh, boy. We got stuck for a second, but we good, man. Yeah, yeah, ain't no sweat, man. Ain't no sweat off my brow, my boy. There we go. But yeah, I was driving over here earlier, bro. 
I was driving over here earlier. The police got like some crazy ass shootout, man. I think they mistook, mistaken, mistook me. How do you say a mistaken mistook? They they mistook, I guess. Me as the suspect, nigga started shooting at the truck, bro. I'm like, come on, man. What is going on this episode, bro? We didn't got shot at, got in a wreck, got stuck. Hey, man. <laughs> Golly, bro. Alicia won't believe this shit. <laughs> Get back to the crib with some fairy tale stories, man. But I guess it is what it is, bro. Speaking of motorcycles, seeing the motorcycles actually made me think. I actually have been thinking about adding like a a harley i think a dope ass like i think a dope not no not no you know like overweight you know one of them one harleys like i'm not talking about one of them i'm talking about like one of them ones in la that pull up next to you with the music blast and it got lights and shit and i was thinking about adding one of those to the series bro i think that would be super dope because we had a motorcycle before but you know <laughs> obviously we don't got it no more so it must not have <laughs> It must not have worked out in our favor, but yeah, that's something I actually been thinking about adding to the series again with bringing the motorcycle back or even get like a, you know, a, a Suzuki or something, you know, maybe some dirt bikes, do some bike lifes uh, in a server. Come on, bro. Do not hit me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We right around the corner. We do not need no more chaos, my boy, especially now with this customer's car on the back of the trailer. Here we go. And that bitch swing. Oh, almost. <laughs> look, I almost knocked. Look, look, look. Buddy going to find a job. Look. <laughs> I almost took his life. That nigga stopped begging this for to go find a job, man. <laughs> That's funny as hell. I don't know why the trailer's swinging like that. Maybe I'm just driving way too damn fast. But, guys, we made it to the shop, bro. I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy. Why is there so many bricks out here, man? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy uh, loaded, man, and taken inside. Then I'm going to drop the truck off and um go pick up the cadillac man and call it a day this episode has definitely been eventful but i need y'all to uh get in the comment section let me know what you think about the interview let me know what our next move should be i definitely definitely appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing the series i'm gonna definitely keep coming with that heat man like always smack that subscribe button don't forget to like the video if you haven't already and i'm on to the next one never broke the code i stand on my name and even in the cold, I walk through the rain I'm asking, could you pray for me? I'm asking, could you pray for me?